strip tray under the car. Remove the bottom splash guard if it's installed. Break, break the hose free from the oil cooler. Once the hose is free, you can use a pry bar to move it. Two ten millimeters. So come in from this side, doesn't matter. It's a quarter, quarter inch universal or swivel. It's a 14 inch extension. When you remove this flange, it'll actually break. There's two pins that hold the thermostat, and you see it's broken now. And the reason it, it breaks is because the thermostat is tight against the uh, engine block. You can reuse the flange if you want, but it just doesn't hold the uh, thermostat anymore, which makes the uh, insulation a lot easier. Clean the bore. coolant out of the mounting bolt holes. It's the old flange, that's the new one. You can see the tabs are still in order. No sealant is required. Uh, just a little bit of coolant on the O-ring according to the dealer. My personal preference is to use a little bit of sealant. And you place the thermostat and you twist it, and that holds it in place. Okay, the flowers is nice and dry. 
you can place the new thermostat or position it. You'll see better on your car. Get both bolts started before you tighten them down. Fifteen newton meter should should be good enough. I always drain the radiator right out by lowering the radiator hose all below the radiator. That way, when I install the radiator hose back on the thermostat, there's not no excessive coolant that runs out and makes a mess. After the thermostat's installed, I like to wash off all the old coolants. Don't forget to reattach the oil cooler hose. Doesn't matter if a little bit of water gets on the alternator. Don't forget the clamp. To fill the system you don't need a fancy vacuum operated contraption like I have. I don't use it all the time myself either. Take your 50-50 coolant and just start filling to the reservoir. The coolant should uh, the coolant level should drop, which means that the coolant is going into the engine. Sometimes I help it out by squeezing the hoses. There's a bleeder hose that runs all the way around here. Uh, and then what happens is air comes out here as the coolant goes down. Sometimes it doesn't want to start the siphoning effect. So what I do is I pinch this hose before releasing the one of the upper or lower radiator hoses. So what I'll do is I'll squeeze the hose, pinch the return hose, and then I let go of this hose. And then I do that. I, I pump it, alternate, and that can get the coolant flow, uh, the coolant flowing, I should say. As you can see, it's starting to come down. Uh, once it starts to move on its own, it'll continue to, to go down. If at this point you were to start the engine, um, you would probably still have an air pocket, um, and that can cause issues, especially if it doesn't continue bleeding itself, you can see it's still going down. Remember, I drained the whole radiator hose here, so the radiator itself should hold at least two to three liters. Um, so you don't want to start this thing prematurely. You want to wait until it, until the level no longer drops.
and pumping the hoses like this it just helps agitate the fluid um, and gets that circulation going I'm just looking for that retaining clamp and then you just add some more You don't want the end level to be higher than the sensor. You want to just leave it at the rim here, uh, which is also above the minimum maximum mark, uh, but that doesn't matter. If it, if it stays above here, there's a chance that the coolant can migrate through the connector along the wiring into the car. I've never seen it myself, but I've heard about it. So just continue pumping. Eventually, when you do start the engine, the water pump will circulate the coolant and it might drop some more but it, in, in that case you just add some more obviously as it drops and you can start hearing the gurgling as it's dropping just wash off any spilled coolant A vacuum system is a lot quicker because it puts the whole system under vacuum and then it just sucks the coolant into the engine in place of the vacuum and there's less chances of air pockets uh, remaining. Once you have enough coolant in the vehicle, you can start the car or start the engine. I like to um, also hook up the scan tool and monitor engine temperature with the scan tool. Always keep topping up until the fluid doesn't drop anymore. So there might be a thermostat code here. No code, okay. This is one of those jobs, one of many, where I just get, you know, get a hand at a uh, repair order and it says re replace this, replace that. Uh, so we're going to want monitor coolant temperature. And then make sure that the thermostat opens and the fans uh, come on. You want to also make sure there's no leaks, so constantly monitor everything. And you want to make sure that coolant flows back into the bottle. You can use a mirror, or if you don't have a mirror, take the hose off, pull it off, and point it into the bottle. Since I have a mirror, I just go like this. You can see I don't see anything yet. When squeezing the hose, there's a little bit of a trickle. It should be rushing out. it's still dropping pretty good so you don't always want to assume that the system is full uh, when you when you don't see the level moving for a while I can actually feel warmth here so that tells me there's coolant there and you can see coolant uh, running back into the bottle now which is good running down the side here. Now there'll, there'll be some air in this hose, which is normal. It opens that air will go into the engine. It'll circle around. It'll come back up here and it'll go back into the bottle. And the fluid level will drop yet again.
thermostats will sometimes will come with more than one seal because the same thermostat is used at, on different applications like a domestic vehicle or whatnot so seals that you don't need you don't need to use so right now the uh, level seems to be staying steady uh, and like I said it is a little on the high side right now but once the thermostat opens it'll drop because of this air here Sixty-eight degrees. Five. Always check the condition of this fuse here. If the legs are burnt, replace the fuse and or the fuse box. That fuse is for the fans. fan switch is located right down in the lower corner here kind of hard to see and while it's warming up if you have a YouTube channel go ahead and check for messages Always monitor the gauge to make sure it's not overheating. Um, it may feel a normal up at the front, but if there's an air pocket, the needle could spike because the sensor is getting hot. So always check your gauges. You can, you can reach through the radiator fans to feel the core to see if it's getting warm.
lower hose will still stay cold up until 90 some odd degrees. 81, 82. So the engine computer is showing 90. Uh, the dash obviously shows 90 for quite a while already. Um, upper radiator hose definitely is warm. Lower radiator hose, it's hard to say. There might be some warm, but um, probably not, not quite yet. Still 90. Uh, because it hasn't moved for a long time, that tells me the thermostat's starting to open. I guess maybe I should turn the heater off as well so it doesn't take heat away from the coolant as the engine's trying to warm up. Well, increase the RPM a little bit, maybe 2000 RPM. Dropped a little more. TDIs always take a long time to warm up. Not a lot of excess uh, or leftover heat when they run. The level's drop has dropped because the thermostat opened up. I'll turn the camera back on when I get closer to fan operation. The so coolant temperature according to the computer is at 95. The lower radiator hose is hot now, same temperature as the upper, so those two radiator fans should come on at any second now. I put white marks on the fans so it's easier to see they're spinning. What I usually do is monitor from inside the car. I can look this way and if I see the white mark moving, then I know the fan is on. Ninety-eight should come on any second. There they go. Thermostat is open. Radiator fans are working. Rad fan switch is working. All done. Let the engine cool down and then recheck the fluid and top it up if needed.